Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today I am doing pigments, cream shadows, single shadows in my collection. I have a specific way of storing my things. So that's why I'm gonna kind of give you a little privacy before we get into the video. For anything that is cream, uh, glittery, anything that's liquidy that goes onto my eyes, I store them in those clear containers, which I'll show you on the screen. I'm sure a lot of you have these. You can find them at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, online on Amazon. I have a few different sizes in my collection and I do not use these and keep them out where the sun can get them. That's how I find that a lot of my cream products or liquid products would dry up faster. So what I do is I keep them in their clear containers but inside my walk-in closet where it's cool, dark, and dry. I do not keep any of my cream products out in the open where the sunlight can get them minus my lip products and you'll see my Maybelline color tattoos which I did pull out of my closet into a uh, drawer that I'll show you today but for the most part you will find any of my cream products anything that has to do with moisture liquidy stuff will it be in my closet that's why you didn't see it in my beauty room tour when I originally did my beauty room tour because I didn't stick you guys in my closet because my closet is dark it's packed there's a lot of stuff in there so I'm gonna share with you guys now what is in the drawers and we can go through individually what I have inside my closet that I keep for my eye products these are the first things that I do have these are my uh, makeup forever what are these called starlit liquids I have them in the pigment form as well as the liquid form you'll see the pigment form in a bit but these are the liquid form I keep them standing up on top of these clear three drawer containers because I like to see them and then I can shake them up I really like these you guys these are really really good and then I am also still the proud owner of these Josie Marin uh, coconut water eyeshadows mine are still perfectly fine they have not dried out my theory works you guys look these are still fine I have owned all of these all you got to do is just shake these up I'll show you and they work fine I do not put the actual applicator on my eye what I do is I let the applicator put a little drop on my arm and then I'll grab like a concealer brush and then put it on my eyes but I own all these still and these are all still working fine no problem I love the color payoff of these so that's why I still keep them and I still use them so as you can see, this is one of those clear drawers that I'm mentioning to you guys. I have a few of these. I used to use these in my old house to store my makeup, but I found that it would actually minimize the length of time that I would be able to keep some of my products. So I no longer keep them out in the open. These are all stored inside my closet. So the first one that I have is all of my Makeup Forever Aqua XL Liquid Cream Shadows. These are all the ones that I do own. I'm not sure if they are even available, but I have these and they're still perfectly fine. They still work fine. I have no problem with any of these. So this is the first drawer that I have. Next up that I have is the milk ones. These are the milk eye pigments. And you guys can see that I have them basically in all the colors. You guys know my obsession with cream shadows, pigments, anything of that sort. So here is the next one that I have. Here are my Stila Glitter and Glow. And these are some Shimmer and Glow. These were gifted to me by Drea. So I have a few of different ones. So I keep them in here and this is the majority of them. As you guys can see, I still store them in their boxes and they're in here and I have opened these up recently and they're all still good and I've had these for over a year, you guys. I have all the shades and I keep them where I can see the shades right there and I can just pull out what I want and use it. I find that this makes them last so much longer. Do not leave these out. I know it looks pretty and aesthetic to the eye. Leaving them out in those lipstick containers your lipsticks i'm telling you guys this method really does work and it makes my products last longer so even though it's pretty to keep them out and it's beautiful to see them out you're not giving the time to have these last so i don't keep these out i keep these all dark dry closet i promise you it's working next one that i have is my bodyography oh look hello you see me <laughs> the bodyography uh, glitter pigments and I own every single shade that they carry I love these you guys 
These are so beautiful, as you guys can see here. I don't know if this is going to zoom on here, but you guys can kind of get an idea. I have all the colors you can think of that they carry. I am obsessed with these. A lot of these were gifted to me by Lisa, and then quite a few of these I have purchased myself. So uh, this houses all of mine of these. As you see me go along, you're gonna see that some have the felt at the bottom, some of these are thinner, some of them are thicker in the drawers. I found all of mine at TJ Maxx and Marshall, so I did not buy any of these online, just so you guys know. So these are the Annabelle Chrome Shadows. These are so pretty. I own quite a few of them, thanks to Lisa. She has gifted these to me, and I really do enjoy them. I believe Rose Gold is one of my favorites. I don't know, can this, I don't know if this will, zoom in on you but that's what I have here then these are the Lise Watier ones that both Lisa and Drea gifted me for Christmas and these are beautiful I love these and then this is just one of those J cat prismetal chrome eyes I haven't tried this yet but this was gifted to me as well so I have that sitting in here too here's another drawer full of more shot this is the Chanel new moon yes I own it and it's still creamy you guys I'm gonna show you because I keep it in, look at that, it is creamy and I've had this for a good four years. Look at that. Yeah, you guys are probably thinking I should throw it out. No, it's still good. I keep all of my cream shadows facing down like this. First so I could see the color and it keeps it moisturized. So you guys can see that it's still as creamy as the day I bought it telling you keep your stuff in a dry dark place this is the pure polish the only one that's left that I have and then these I got at CVS and these are eco so this is like a new brand got these a while back and never tried them there they seem to me like they are a pigment of some sort like the L'Oreal infallible so I got them in all the four shades that they come in but I haven't tried them yet so I eventually will try these out so I keep these in here as well moving on we have our butter London glazing eye these are all the ones that I currently own right now so you could I see I keep them upside down so I could see the color as well as keeping them all nice and creamy still so these are all still good make thin one and then as you guys can see this one's a thicker one so this is more of a thicker drawer and this is where I keep all of my tart chrome paints at least most of them I think these are all the ones that I have yes I think these are all of them so I have Beach Bay Top Yacht Fire Dancer Frosé which is one of my favorites Pot of Gold which is a limited edition shade Park Avenue Princess Martini which is beautiful Sun Drench is a really good one for the summer so that's where I keep all of these as well now we're moving on to some gel liners. So this is where I keep my most of my gel liners, I think all of them except for the one I'm currently using in this drawer here. These are the Maybelline Lasting Drama ones. These are the matte lacquer ones. I got them in the different colors to try them out. And then I have this Maple, uh, NYX Vivid one. I haven't tried this yet, but I do have that. So I keep these in the closet as well to keep them nice and creamy. Here are those NYX vivid brights I have them in all the colors I think except for a few I haven't opened all of these up I think I tried maybe one of these I need to still share you with you guys how to use these on camera because I know a few of you had asked so I will do that I keep forgetting that I have them because they are in my closet but I'm trying to keep them living longer basically here is my first drawer full of gel liners this is why I don't buy gel liners you guys I have some from Ulta they no longer make these. Maybelline in different colors. Mark, this is the Avon brand. Uh, that's the parent company. This is Inglot 77. And none of these are dried out. I've already checked. These are Smashbox. I have some uh, L'Oreal ones. So I have some in here. And then this is my second drawer of them. So I have Tarte. I have more Mark. Tarte, Tarte. This is Makeup Geek Mobster, which is the brown one. I'm currently using the black one, which I love. Then I have more L'Oreal. This is another Sephora one. A backup to the Inglot 77. Another Ulta one. And I have gone through all of these, so I know these are all good. 
Now we're going to move on to a different size drawer. I have four of these and only three of them have things in them. I have one that's completely empty and you can see some of these are not even full. So these are the elongated ones here. These are good for like lipsticks or liquid lipsticks, but I keep all of my cream shadows, anything liquid liners of that sort into these. So these are my L'Oreal infallible ones. They no longer make these. These are so good, you guys. I currently have the pink one in my everyday drawer because I use that as an inner corner highlight. These were so good. I don't know why they got rid of them. The Infallible line by L'Oreal is a very, very good line. I love them. Next drawer that I have here is the ones that house my Mally ones. And then these are Gosh. Gosh is no longer sold in Canada, but all of these were sent to me from Lisa and I love these. So I keep them in here. And then the only nude sticks that I have is right over here. This was in a boxy charm. So I have all of these in here and they fit perfectly fine so I can just grab them when I want to. And then this one houses my Tarte ones, Bobbi Brown and Laura Mercier Mini. So whenever I wanna reach for something, I have them all sitting here and I can see them in here when I have them stored, you guys can see. As you guys can see, not every drawer is full. This one only houses my only pixie one that I have in rose gold. And then this one is from Appeal. This is new to me. It's actually not too bad and it doesn't look as yellow as in here. So I keep these two in here because they need a partner. So I kept them both together. The following drawer houses these Avon Extra Lasting Sticks. These are amazing. These are a cheaper dupe to the Laura Mercier ones. Caviar sticks, these are so good, you guys. They no longer make them, unfortunately, but these are amazing. I keep them around, they're still creamy. They are so, so good. And then I have my only Smashbox here, and then this is a Lisa Lottier one that is so pretty that Lisa sent me, so that's what I keep in this drawer. And the last drawer of shadow sticks, these are all my Milani ones. Milani still makes these in certain shades, but not all of the colorful ones. So I have gone through these, and the ones that are still good that I still use are in here and I really really like these are one of the best ones at the drugstore even the simple ones that they still carry I would highly recommend they're so good for your waterline and they last such a long time these are amazing three more drawers you guys the first one that I have here are my Ulta glitter cream shadows these are very reminiscent to the Tarte ones Oh, uh, not the Tarte, the Stila ones, but these are a little bit more user-friendly. I have these Tartus Pro Eyeliners in here, rose gold and in the silver. And then I have this Essence one that Lisa got me. Lisa also got me my only Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. And then Drea got me this one from Quo. Such a pretty color. This one is so pretty. It actually does look 3D. It's a 3D cream eyeshadow and it really does look 3D on your eyes. So, so pretty. So I keep these in here. So these, you guys remember these? I still love these. I cannot get rid of them. I still enjoy them. They have repackaged these. They are still on the market, but they look completely different than what I currently have. These are the NYX Roll-On Shimmer Eyeshadow. They can be on the eyes, face, or body. And this one in Salmon was like a cult favorite. I love these, I really do. I know they're a little bit messy, but they are such a great payoff. And they're more of like a loose pigment in a roll-on ball, basically. So I keep them, I still use them. They are repackaged, these are the older packaging, so these still do exist. And my last one, these are my Revlon Eye Art Crayon, basically. This side is a cream shadow, and these are their corresponding glitters. These are so pretty. If you did not want to spend the money on the Touch and Soul ones that they have, these are exactly the same concept, you guys, exactly the same. These are still creamy, these are still amazing. I still use these, I use these. I'll put the uh, glitter on top of another shadow if I want to, and they're still wonderful. You guys, I promise you, if you keep your glitters, anything cream, liquidy, in a dark, uh, dry place, they will last such a long time, where to the point where you'll probably declutter them and they're still gonna be good. I have found this to be the case for years now. I mean, I've done this for a very long time. In my old house, I did the same thing. I would keep the majority of my stuff in my closet, and I did the same going into this house and it's worked wonderfully for me. I can attest to it. Here on top is where I keep this blue basket as well as this letter A. I also move my little mannequin woman over here 
um, instead of where my lipsticks are because I officially moved my lipsticks back into my walk-in closet. I used to keep them out, but I felt like they, they are gonna last longer in my closet. So I went and put them back in my closet where I originally had them when I moved into this house. So I also keep my lipsticks now inside my walk-in closet. I no longer keep them out here. It right there I currently have my giveaway that I'm currently doing at this point when you see this video it has already closed out but I did a declutter and I wanted to see if anybody wanted those so quite a few people entered and that's the giveaway basket basically that I have now that letter a bag box right there was a gift for my birthday from my mother-in-law it's a glass container on the outer part and inside it's felt and what I keep inside of there is single shadow container so if I ever wanted to clutter any of my single shadows I have somewhere to place them and not have to give up a Z palette because my Z palettes are few and far between. I actually lost a few moving into this house. I lost like a good four or five of them. The smaller nine pan ones, I cannot find them anywhere. So I'm, it seems like I'm gonna have to go buy some because I am in need of them. So I keep those, I'll show you in a second what it looks like in there, but that's where I keep everything in there. And then over to your left is where I keep a storage of my makeup brush holders and the uh, liner that I keep on top of my desk. I changed it up because I wanted something a little bit different and that's the other one that I have that I'm just gonna keep for now. So as you can see, these are the single containers that I keep whenever I purchase any single shadows. ColourPop has these, uh, Coastal Scents will do this as well. I've kept them all just in case I want to give away to clutter any of my single shadows. I have somewhere to place them so it's just not wrapped up in a tissue paper or something. So this drawer dresser was inherited. I did not purchase this. This is the only piece in my whole entire room that does not match and that is because I did not purchase it. It was given to me when I moved into this house. So of course I could use the storage, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It is made out of wood. I don't know what kind of wood, and I don't know where it was purchased. It is on wheels, so I can move it around, which I do appreciate. Eventually one day I will paint it white to match everything else, but for now, it holds its purpose. It's not bothering me. I'm not a perfectionist. I know some of you probably saw my beauty room tour and it bothered you seeing that that's the only piece that does not look black or white. So it's okay. I'm fine. It's mine. I don't care. It does what it's supposed to do and that's all that matters. So I can't pull all these out completely because it will come out. But as you guys can see, the very, very bottom drawer is all of my color tattoos. I told you I owned every single one that has ever been released minus the five out of the 10 new ones that they just came out with. I told you I love these. These are still creamy and good. I have opened a few of these and they're perfectly fine, you guys. I've always kept these in a dark, deep place. If I start seeing that these are drying up, then I'll shift them back into my closet. But for now, since they are away from the window and in this little corner of my room, the direct sunlight is not hitting them. And since this storage unit does not allow for sunlight to seep through it, and it's not near a vent, so I'm fine with it. As you guys can see, these are all on my color tattoos. In the corner, you will see that they're specific different ones. These are from Benefit. Benefit no longer makes these cream shadows, but they're so good. I'll bring one up to share, show you guys. So this is what Benefit used to have. These are the creaseless cream shadows, and they used to have these beautiful packaging. And it came like this, and look. Isn't that pretty? These are still good and creamy. I keep them in their own storage containers facing upside down. So then that way they are perfectly fine where they're at and I've never had a problem with these drying up. All right, so this drawer, we're gonna start getting into my pigments and my glitters. On this side over here, you're gonna see all of my NYX ones that I have. These are all either glitters or pigments. Alexa Persico right here, these are some of my favorite. Down here you have uh, the bomb. These right here are Lancome. Right here is my um, sugar pill in this area. Over on the top part over here, this is all of my Pop Beauty ones and Inglot. I have Inglot in here and then I have Coastal Scents glitters. So you guys can see they're super pretty. I'll zoom in for you guys so you guys can kind of see them. You guys can take a look. 
Next drawer, we have more pigments. I have Makeup Forever, my NYX ones. These are all on the right side, all of my Makeup Geek ones. I have more, um, what are they called? Eye candy glitters. They're an indie brand. I love their glitter, so I went ham to Black Fridays because they had them so inexpensive. So this is what I house in here. Majority are Makeup Geek, as you guys can see on the right side. These are all my Makeup Geek ones. The one moving up, we have our Dose of Color pigments with the Cream Duo in the back you will see those bright colors. Those are from my, uh, what is it, Concrete Minerals, which was it is an indie brand. I love their loose pigments. You see a lot of them in the center. Then I have some from RDC In that are pressed pigments. You can depot them if you want. More NYX, Jessie's Girl, which I think is no longer sold at Rite Aid, but I have Jessie's Girl. I have some BH Cosmetic pigments in here. I have Napoleon Purdy which no longer exists at least in in my area I have some of their loose pigments which are super super pretty um and I think uh, that's it okay welcome to my Mac store <laughs> all the pigments on the right hand side are all Mac then you see some Mac collections in the center some of their press glitters some of their it was like a fairy collection that they had in the back you will see some Ulta glitter shadows on the left side you will see my whole entire bare minerals loose pigment collection uh, I'm not even gonna tell you how old some of these are because you guys know my very first brand that I ever purchased from was bare minerals and I will not admit or deny that some of these are very very old but I have gone through them they haven't given me any reaction and I do sanitize my makeup very very often I also have some Jane in here Jane shadows which they no longer make these either, at least not here. So this is where I keep all these. I love these. I know that you're probably thinking you can't see any of these, but it's fun to play. It's fun to go in here and just play around with everything. I, It does not give me anxiety. Last but not least is my top drawer. This is where I keep all of my L'Oreal Infallibles. As you guys can see, I have owned every one they have ever released including limited edition ones you guys collections these are some of my favorite at the drugstore all of my urban decay moon dust shadows i own all the ones i have ever come out with on the right you will see kat von d single shadows the mac dazzle shadows those were so beautiful and in the back you will see back left are my maybelline singles then you will see some uh, Prestige, which are no longer available, which had beautiful singles. Mm -hmm. And then four L'Oreal ones, Napoleon Purdy's back there as well. And I think I have like two to three regular Urban Decay shadows in here as well. So that's it for my pigments, single shadows, glitters, anything to do with the eye products minus palettes. Palettes will be coming up next. I have on the screen a, another video of another collection of mine in this room. If you're interested in seeing what other stuff I own in this beauty room, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in that video. Until then, bye guys.